What's up? Today's video is an absolute must watch. We're unlocking the ultimate power settings for WinLater 10 Final. Whether you're rocking a low end phone, a non Snapdragon Molly device, or a flagship beast, this guide is your golden ticket to insane FPS, crystal clear graphics, and buttery smooth gameplay. WinLater 10 isn't just an update, it's a revolution. It turns your Android into a full on Windows gaming machine. And I'm going to show you the exact setup to squeeze out every drop of performance. Ready to game like a pro on any device? Let's dive in. This video is designed to help beginners become pros at using WinLater, covering everything you need to know from start to finish. To begin, head to the WinLater GitHub repository. Scroll down until you find the latest version of WinLater 10 Hotfix. For your kind information, WinLater will later have several modded versions, each designed for specific devices. Sometimes these modded versions or forks perform even better than the original WinLater. I'm making a proper video on this topic so you can clearly understand all the different modes of WinLater later and decide which one is best for you, so it should take only one to two minutes to download. Once the download is complete, install or update the app. You might see a warning from Google Play Protect about the app being built with an older Android version, but rest assured, it's safe to install. After installation, you'll first need to grant the app permission to access your phone storage OBB file. WinLater 10 now automatically downloads it. This file contains all the necessary components to run the app. Now, go to Settings, set the cursor speed up to 200, but I like to use 150. Also, adjust your cursor size and color. Set the preferred input API to both for better compatibility. Choose the latest Box64 version or whichever suits your needs. You can also install components for other Box64 versions. Set the Box64 version to performance to maximize efficiency. Now create a custom performance preset. Set the Dino Safe Flags value to zero for improved stability and smoother performance. Use Wine 9.2 as it is currently the best best stable version available. Next, you'll be prompted to create a container. Click the plus icon at the top right corner to begin configuration. Start by giving your container a name and selecting the screen size. I'm choosing 854 by 480, but you can go up to 1080p. For the best performance, I recommend using your device's native screen resolution. If you notice any lag or trouble booting, you can lower the resolution in the settings. Moving on to the graphics driver, there are three options available. Turnip, Virtual GL, and Vortex which is newly added and is experimental. If you're using a Snapdragon chipset, choose Turnip for better performance. I am using a Mali device, so I will select Vortec. Let's configure the driver. Leave the Vulkan version at 1.3, and if you think your device has low RAM, then set low device memory. For the DX wrapper, you can select DXVK or your preferred version. Make sure the DXVK version is 1.103 because it's stable. Additionally, you can enable the FPS counter if you want to track your performance during gameplay. In advanced settings, keep Box 64 on performance always and startup selection on aggressive. For Windows version, select Windows 10. Here, under Processor Affinity, select all the available cores, just leave one. When everything is done, hit the tick button. Don't worry, you can edit any time. Then hit the play button, and boom! WinLater Android 10 final build has started. Now let's test Direct3D to check FPS. It's showing 600 to 700 FPS, which is insane. In the sidebar, you'll find several useful options, like full screen mode, which automatically adjusts the screen to match your selected aspect ratio. There's also an improved task manager that displays detailed CPU, RAM, and system usage stats much better than the default version. Before launching any game, don't forget to install Wine Mono. It's essential for running certain applications. Another important fix, the virtual controller doesn't work properly out of the box, but you can install a layout either before going into the input controls or while playing the game. It's almost like having a full Windows PC right on your Mali device. WinLater 10 feels smoother and brings a refreshing desktop-like experience. I tested several games, and honestly, it felt like I was playing on a real PC, not just an Android phone powered by a Mali GPU. Of course, performance may vary depending on your device's specifications, but higher-end models will generally deliver a smoother gaming experience. That's all for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video. Take care.